Good morning and welcome to What's for Breakfast, Lunch, or Brunch. And today, like every other day, it's going to be some leftovers. And I'm finishing up some, um, we had made some rice a couple days ago. And got some rice a couple days ago and some macaroni and cheese a couple days ago. So, what better way to finish it up is to combine the two. So, let's give this a taste to see what that tastes like. I'll be right back. I need some butter. Right back. Okay, got me some butter. So, let's put some butter in there. All right. And I'm also going to have a... We had... A couple hot dogs left over so I think what we're gonna do is have a hot dog with that let's get this out the air fryer now I just put that hot dog and put it in the air fryer for a couple minutes this enough to get it. Let's just cut that off there. Let's see what this tastes like with that little bit of butter in it. It was, it's good. It's one of my favorites. You wouldn't think macaroni and cheese mixed with rice is good, but I like it. And it's a good way to, this is the last of the rice and we have just a little bit, I'm gonna let that be, a serving of, um, macaroni and cheese left and then that'll be done and one hot dog that's not bad it needs a little salt <laughs> now we like to use the pink Himalayan salt when we do use it and I usually don't put salt a lot of my meals the most things that I like salt in is um have to have it in eggs, potatoes, you know, a little bit of macaroni, but not a whole lot of um, salt and other things because I could taste the natural salt in it. And we don't salt our pasta water or our broth, depends on what we put in before we do it. So sometimes, let me see if that's better. Whoops. Mm-hmm. And on the hot dog. We'll put just a little bit of mustard. And it's funny because I've already pre squeezed that over the sink a little bit to make sure it wasn't watery. And then I'm gonna have it with, of course, a glass of green tea with lime wedges in it oh and let me show you real quick because i told you i was going to show you what we did with the uh, lemon and lime wedges okay if you hear movement in the background that's just my son he was helping me get these out the freezer because they're cold and like i said the hands don't like anything cold so but just to show you real quick the um lemons and limes, those are the ones that we were telling you about where we brought the big bags and then this one had husband and I made sure they were cut up, put in a freezer. And the thing is you put down, use some parchment paper, put your wedges on there, let them freeze, you know, in a single line, let them freeze. And then once they freeze, you just put them in the baggies and they are good for, you know, if you need to add one to your tea which I have some fresh ones in the refrigerator already cut up lemon and lime. So I use in those first. If you're having tacos or nachos or anything that you want, lime or lemon juice um, recipes, you could take them out and let them defrost in the refrigerator and then squeeze them. So that's a good way to make sure to extend the life. And as you can see, when you um, freeze them on a sheet pan to put them in, they'll stay individual like that. So I think we got two or three bags of each in the, in the freezer, so that should last. And we also have um, actual 
lime juice and lemon juice as well so we should be good whether we're trying to bake something or make something with the lemon and lime juice and then the other thing which on my community tab I went ahead and put where my husband went ahead and put the blueberries on the sheet tray same thing wash them dry them with paper towel and put them on a parchment lined tray put it in the freezer and they'll freeze individually and then you put them in a bag and as you can see they're ready for muffins yogurt uh oatmeal cakes pies whatever you need them for and these actually came from our actual yard we have a blueberry bush um that we're blessed to where it just produce 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 so i think this is the second bag um we've eaten plenty of them S two quart bags in the fr in the freezer and there's about a half a container in the refrigerator and my husband will go out and pick the um, rest i think we probably got enough for one more bag by the time the um berries come to ripe on the vine and then he'll pull those off we'll freeze them and we should have hopefully three bats to get us through um the winter um for our fresh blueberries and then we actually got three more we actually got four the one bush has never done well so we did move that one last last fall so this fall, my husband will go ahead and put the other three in the ground that we got. So hopefully out of the, what is that, five um, blueberry bushes, our goal is to get enough to let it um, produce all the way to where we have enough to last until the next season. So we're working on that. And our, our not our blueberries, our strawberries, which I'll take you outside to show you super quick did not really um we had to transplant them into the raised bed this season and they took all their time and energy reproducing so if you go back to the garden video at the start of the season and see you'll see a big difference from three little plants to what it is now so i'll take you out there to show you that real quick um let me get uh these back in the freezer so let me grab my son real quick and then we will um, venture out to show you the strawberry. All right, here we are, and there is the strawberries. And like I said, if you go back and look at the previous video, you'll see how much they just really overtook that bed. And of course, you hear my chickens out there. And then I'm going to show you this too, because this is pretty cool. An update on the jalapenos. Let's see if I can get that to. Hopefully, you can see it. Look at those! Yay! And then this here. Let me go back some so you can see it. That's the big old uh, mammoth deal that's starting to seed. So everything is going to seed, it looks like. There's where we pulled all the carrots up. And we're still waiting on the beets to see if they're going to do anything. But yeah. I'm going to go out there and take care of those little loud girls of mine and be right back. Okay, girls, are you going to say thanks for watching? Let's say thanks for watching. What are you having for breakfast, lunch, or brunch today? <laughs> Have a good day.